Welcome to In Real Life. I'm Charlotte Yarconi, and this week I'm talking with Bruno Stocker. Welcome, Bruno. Thank you. A senior program manager who spent many years restoring and converting a 76-foot commercial fishing vessel into a pleasure boat. Bruno, that's quite an undertaking. Can you tell us a little bit about it? A long time ago, I just had in mind to do something bigger, and I learned that I can buy a commercial fishing boat and converting it into a pleasure boat. And beginning of 2003, I actually purchased the boat. And then I started to realize that it ended up as a much bigger project than I even remotely expected. And so I realized fairly quick that um, renovation is not an option. So you started this in 2003? Yes. And this is 2022? <laughs> yes, pretty much every weekend. Now, were you were you a, a sailor before all yes. of this? Okay, yes. so you had some knowledge Yes, of yes. boats. It sounds like this went from boat restoration <laughs> to let's just build a whole new boat. Yeah, pretty much the back half of the boat is new. And the front was just uh, totally stripped out. Pretty much everything was out and then putting new wires in it. Uh, yeah, pretty much everything is new inside. If you had to kind of take the most important learnings from going through this process, which definitely sounds like labor of love, but labor nonetheless, like what, what would be your key takeaways from the experience? I think the, the key takeaway is uh, I, I was not able to grab the whole project as an overall. So I just started to focus on what I wanted to immediately as next and kind of ignored the fact that it's going to be a long journey and it's going to take a long time. I also learned by looking what I have accomplished and not what's in front of me to keep the motivation going. That helped me big time. Very cool. Bruno, I admire your persistence and dedication to seeing a dream all the way through to reality. Thank you for sharing your story. Thank you. And I hope you have lots and lots of good sailing time in your future. Thank you to everyone for tuning in and see you next time on In Real Life.